Hi guys, welcome to the Where Are They Now series where we talk to Hillcrest graduates to find out where are they now. Today's guest has had ties to Hillcrest since 1999 and even has a Hillcrest preppy student at the school right now. So let's listen up to that interview. Over to you, Mel. Okay, so could you please state your full name and what year you graduated from Hillcrest? So my name is Nicole Stegman. When I was at school, I was Nicole Pasila. <laughs> and I finished uh, Hillcrest in the year 2004. So 16 years ago. So what are you up to nowadays, or what have you been up to since you finished Hillcrest? Oh, it's been 16 years, so quite, quite a bit, I guess. <laughs> uh, so I studied film for a couple of years. Uh, I lived in Japan for a year. That yeah. was in 2004. <laughs> uh, where I taught English. Um, I've run government call centres, uh, but my, my most current job, other than being a mum of three kids, is I actually work for my church. So I do all the media stuff. So, okay, yeah. and what church is that? Oh, Wine Press. Oh, awesome, cool. Wine Press Church, yes. So I've been doing that for oh, a couple of years now, but yeah, especially since lockdown, that role has obviously increased a hundredfold. <laughs> That's awesome. And Jaden, your eldest son, he goes to school with us, doesn't he? That's right. So he's in prep and my daughter, Cara, will be studying prep next year. So I'll have wow, two. That's awesome. That's cool. Yeah, so it's crazy. Okay. And do you have any funny memories or involving any staff at Hillcrest? Yeah, I have a lot of memories, um, especially because I did, um, uh, I was like part of plays and musicals. So I did Food for Thought with Mr. Rushton Smith. I know that he's not part of the school anymore. Uh, I did, uh, what was it called? Jesus Christ Superstar. So there's lots and lots of funny, funny things that come from there. But yeah, any particular funny thing, I can't really think of anything. Um, I think everything was funny when I was at school. <laughs> Pretty, now you look back and you laugh. No. I know. <laughs> Everything's funny That's now. Cool. Back then exactly. was funny. Back then though, <laughs> not so much. Uh, what was the biggest trouble you ever got into at Hillcrest? I did actually get in trouble for it though. So if Mrs. Keys is watching from my own, my old home tech, home ec teacher, <laughs> I went and um, used to go out the back in the pantry area and I stole a block of cooking chocolate. <laughs> but I uh, look, other than that, I was a pretty good kid. I was. <laughs> Besides cheating, I was stealing, anything else, yeah, buying. Yeah. Yeah, other than good. that, yeah. Let's push this aside. Let's erase that from the record. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a fond memory of your time at Hillcrest? Um, like I said, like with all the musical and like because I should be part of the drama club and stuff like that, um, that was, they were all just great me memories. You get to know the, the teachers more when you're doing that kind of stuff, when you're catching up with them after school to do re rehearsals. Um, but yeah, I also had a fantastic group of friends. Like my year 12, year level, I still speak to a lot of them, so. Oh, that's cool. So when you were at school, what was your relationship with God like when you were at school? So I grew up in a Christian household and I guess I would have always called myself a Christian. Um, but that didn't, I don't know. It's like, I think when you grow, when you grow up as a Christian, you need that kind of special moment, special encounter, which I didn't really have until after school. Um, so although I, I knew, you know, that I, who, who Jesus was and, um, and I knew all the stuff about Christianity, it didn't really mean anything to me, if that makes sense. It did, but it didn't. Yeah. Yeah. I totally understand. Yeah. yeah. It kind of takes that, yeah, you grow up in a Christian home, but it takes that special moment for you to go, oh, now it's my faith. It's not just my parents' faith anymore. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Yeah. yeah. So obviously after, since, since then, I mean, obviously now I work for the church, so things have obviously <laughs> come a little bit of a way. Um, but yeah, I've definitely went through a, a number of things in my life and yeah, I, I mean, I've never been closer to God. So yeah, it's been, it's been really, really good. Yeah, that's cool. And um, do you have any advice for our still at schoolers? <laughs> if anyone that doesn't know, I have a family of, well, I'm, I'm the eldest of six kids and we all went through Hillcrest. Um, 
But yes, I've been I've been there to hand out little nuggets of advice <laughs> for a while now. But I think if if you can find out what your your talents and gifts are, you know, just as God says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in Psalm um, what is what Psalm one thirty nine fourteen I think it is. Um, so if, if you can find out what your talents and gifts are, and you allow those to direct you in life you'll find that you really won't go wrong. Yes, you might stumble. Yes, you might, you know, trip up a bit. But if you're leaning on the talents and the gifts that God has actually given you, then yeah, I find that you'll always come come back to it. Like that's, that's what I found. I've, I've done all sorts of strange jobs, um, but I've stumbled back into my creative side and that's where my talents and gifts lie. No, oh, good. Well, thank you so much for being part of our um where are you now series? <laughs> it's been lovely to have you. <laughs> no